On Monday evening, the National Assembly modified the Motor Vehicles and Road Traffic Act to incorporate a provision mandating 24-hour civilians cameras on roads. These advanced systems will be strategically placed at traffic intersections and monitored by the Guyana Police Force. Home Affairs Minister Robson Ben emphasized the urgency of this amendment following a surge in road accidents across the nation. While we have put in place uh, new roads, the new highways, the Heroes Highway, the interlinking roads in communities, we still have the problem of speeding, we have the problem of people seeing the open road, we have the problem of particularly at the weekends where there's drinking and driving. And so the resort is the amendments of the Motor Vehicles and Road Traffic Act. He highlighted the cameras roles in identifying speed violations and seat belt non-compliance among drivers. Install an electronic system consisting of A, Cameras to capture photographic images and videos of vehicles and persons in the vehicles and be radars to detect the speed of vehicles. Minister Ben outlined the surveillance footage will be systematically stored in a special database managed by the National Data Management Authority. This will grant access to law enforcement officials and judicial bodies. Meanwhile, Opposition Member of Parliament Amanza walton Azir expressed support for the amendment advocating for unified efforts to reduce escalating road accidents in Guyana. It is important that we work together to transform our roads from, you know, uh, deadly hazards, as it were, into a safe uh, passageway. In 2020, 139 lives were lost due to road accidents, including nine children. Subsequent years saw fluctuations with 99 fatalities recorded in both 2021 and 2022, and a distressing increase to 175 deaths in 2023, including six children. For 2024 so far, there has been 57 deaths, including two children. I am Carice Gonzalez reporting for the AHGP 90 News.